Hi there, Susan Winter here for SusanWinter.net. Older women and younger men. Now, we've had a number of discussions on this topic and in part, you know, getting comfortable with your younger partner oftentimes involves integrating them into your world. Now, you may have already had a discussion with your parents, you may have already had a discussion with your friends, and certainly you've had a lot of discussions with yourself about this. But what about your children? Chances are you might have children that are anywhere from, you know, the end of elementary school to middle school to high school. Most oftentimes, your children will hit on one issue. They'll hit on two. They'll hit on the money and they'll hit on the fact that you're going to be hurt. But let's dissect these so that you can have an argument to counter them because this is their concern. First of all, if you were in a, in a family where you had divorced and it was a new partner that was your age, you would still encounter some uncomfortable resistance from your children. This is legendary. And talk to any of your friends that has tried to integrate a new partner into their lives. You know, it's not dad. And oftentimes there are normal problems in having a blended new family. This is to be expected. So there is always going to be some level of resistance. Also, with this new dynamic, everybody has their ears up looking for what's wrong, what's the game, what's really happening here. Now, you compound that with the fact that you're older and he's younger, so of course, the natural assumption is something is afoot. He's using you for your money, he wants opportunity, he's a lazy guy, he wants to crash out and just live off you and have you handle everything, but mostly he's going to hurt you because you're older. And he's going to wake up one day, realize you're old, run out of the room and say, oh my God, I lost my mind, I can't do this. So this is what people think. And in your lowest moments, it might even be what you think. So here's the way to counter the discussion that he is going to leave you that you're old. I'd like you to ask your children directly, are you saying that I am unlovable? Are, are you telling me that you don't see that I am somebody worth loving? That only somebody who would be decrepit or old or impaired in some way would even be willing to entertain my value? I mean, do you think I have no value? Now, this will rock your kids. And depending upon their ages, you may want to couch how you say that. But it's, it's really just a matter of implying your children obviously care for you and they love you and they don't want you to be hurt. They're having a hard time putting the pieces together that somebody younger could be attracted to you simply because they've just heard for years this just isn't done. Maybe they don't know anybody where it's been done. And you know what? These Gen Z kids, for as open-minded and tolerant as they are in their world, or your millennial kids, if they're older, they are so cool in the group of their friends with accepting everything, but when it comes to mom, that's a whole new story. So you may want to remind them of that as well. But you've got friends who are this, this, and this. And you've got a friend who does that. I mean, it's all inclusive. Love is love. People are people. Age is a number. What are you talking about? We know color is just, that's an identifier, but it doesn't mean anything. Sexuality is just whatever. It, none of these things should stop us. Now, that's a very good argument. You see, sometimes you have to take the logic of your kids and turn it back around on them. As far as you being so weak and so feeble that you would just hand over all your money and say, here, just go spend what you want. Oh, you want a Testarossa? Happy to get it for you. You're not a kid. You're not 16. See, they're thinking maybe what they would do if they were in your position. You have to remind them, you know, we have a home to live in and we have things that everything is taken care of because I do know how to manage my money and I know how to think rationally. And I think you've got to remember that. I'm not 12 or 20. If I were a young person with some kind of resources, I might be the one who would do something like that, but I'm not. You've never seen me do it before. Why would I start now? You can do this, and another thing that I want to tell you is try to do this slowly over a period of time. Let your children get to know your partner first in more of a social environment where he's part of a group of people, whether it's a sporting event or 
it's a picnic someplace, or it's a concert, or whatever. Let them meet, know that this is mom's friend. Let them get a sense of this person. I wouldn't suggest first time, right off the bat, have him come over and sit down as though they've never seen him before and you've been hiding him. That doesn't work so well. Remember, you've made it through your own mind. You have had to tell yourself that this is okay. And if you get completely lost in all I've said and push comes to shove and your kids ask you some question for which you have no idea, if you were asking that question of yourself, what would you say? That's your answer. Susan Winter for SusanWinter.net. Please come to my site. Take a look. There are about, I think, 65 or 70 articles just for older women and younger men on my website. And I've got great coaching packages. If you want to work with me on any aspect of this, I'd be more than happy to work with you hand in hand. Thanks a lot.